Spencertainment, and welcome back to Spencertainment SLT. It is I, the Spencertainer. I just came up with that right now. But before we go on, I'd like you guys to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell that will pop up. And when this video is done, please click the little like button. All right, back to my lesson. I've done this long enough. Oh, look at that. I have a website popped up. Oh, yes, I am using code.org, and I'd like to thank them for allowing me to use this. And, wow, all this stuff looks fancy. Don't worry, we're just going to be hey, doing the basics. And when I mean basics, I mean text. And when I mean text, I mean this stuff. Okay, before we go on, I'd like to tell you that there's nothing for me to tell you. And next... All I have to tell you is that this can be broken into two areas, the header and the body. Yes, that is all. And we'll be going deeper into those two parts today. So I'll just go over here. Now the headers, there are plenty of things you can do. You can link it to other pages. You can do that. You can do this, etc., etc., etc. Oh wait, I feel a joke coming on. Time for our joke of the day. A programmer. Someone who turns coffee into code. Ha ha ha. Get it? Get it? JavaScript. Coffee. Java. Ha ha ha. Alright, joke's over. Let's go back to our lesson. Alright. But the main thing people usually do in a header is put headers. And I apologize for any noise in the background because I do have a family. I know. Shocker. Okay. There are actually six different kinds of headers. There's headers one through six, as you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at that. I was right. Header one will be the largest, as you will soon see. And header 6 being the smallest, you know, going from largest to smallest. See, look. You got six different types. And each one gets steadily smaller. So we have H2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I don't need to show them all to you because, hey, you guys could probably know that. To do this now is all you have to do for the headers, but you go down to the body and there are plenty of things you can do. There is the paragraph, which would be regular text, you know, like this is regular text. See? Regular text. And then there are also these things called lists. I know you know what a list is. But to do a list, there are actually two kinds of lists. You know, the kind of list that has numbers in front of it, and the kind of list that has bullets in front of it. See, we call the kind of list that has, uh, uh, the kind of list that has numbers, an ordered list. And to make an ordered list, you type O-L, and then click Enter. Now, to make a, a list item, which is called list item, <laughs> obviously, and this is ordered list. And I know they're clever with this stuff, right? <laughs> so now we'll go on to make our first list item, which in this case we'll say ordered because it's an ordered list, meaning it goes from in an order. And then you'll go and do li. I like to go ahead and get this stuff out of the way before I put my uh, stuff in it. And if I'm ever silent, it's because um, I usually work silently because I work better that way. And to make it actually appear, you got to 
do this. Now, for one second, I'd just like it to take a moment and for you guys to recognize something. If you look at this code right here, where my mouse is, and if you look right here, where my mouse is again, and here, and here, and here, and pretty much everywhere, basically. So I should just go like this. Yeah, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Yes, but you notice there's that forward slash at the end of the code, because that forward slash is what tells you um, to end it. And actually, what you'll notice about, my, if you've noticed my symbol, here, I'll bring it up for you. It's right here. Yes. If you notice, I did uh, game control forward slash game control, which if you notice, it looks kind of like, here, look down here. Wait, I'll just put it in a uh, text. That's what my, oh, oh well, that won't do it, Kirk. But it kind of looks like the JavaScript symbol, which is this. <laughs> because, as you know, my uh, YouTube channel is actually divided into at least two parts, one being JavaScript, so that's why I chose that symbol, and the second being uh, the gaming part, and that is why I chose that. So now we have our ordered lists, our paragraph, which is what the P stands for, the head, the body, and the headers, one through six. Now, you may be wondering what else is next. Oh yes, we have our unordered list, which is the kind that has bullet points. To do this, we're going to do like the OL, but instead of OL, we'll do UL for unordered list. And you'll see that's helpful, and if you want to try coding, you can create your own free account on code.org and uh, try this out for yourself. You go to projects and you click web lab. And it will actually give you some of the code that you might be using. It makes guesses like that. And then, to do that, you always want to have one space, at least one for each item, because we'll have... And then to make a list item, it's pretty similar to the, uh, it's pretty similar to the ordered list, except for one thing. It's the exact same thing. Ha ha ha, I tricked ya. So we'll do unordered. unordered list and you get the sense of how it works huh let's see what happens if we click the backspace oh yes uh, <laughs> if you noticed I accidentally did a little mistake I put our unordered list <laughs> inside our ordered list so it will always be like that now if I moved uh, this over we have our separate one with a different kind of bullet point and if you put them inside inside it's okay <laughs> so there you have it and that is how you do basic text using javascript remember have fun stay fun bye